Cosmic. I think you were right. Getting out into Earth's wilderness for a hike, some fresh air, and to rejuvenate was a good idea. Indeed, all that time stuck in that human house has given me a call to get out somewhere. What a fabulous day for a hike. I knew you would both love it. Hey guys, check out the sign. Hey, what's that up ahead? Hey guys, check out this tree. This is the most awesome scratch post I've ever felt. Astro, I don't think that's a tree. Um, good day, sir. Greetings. Ah, holy crap. Who the? What the? Hey, Steve. How's it going? It goes well, my alien friend, whose name is Cosmic. Oh, my. Cosmic. Did you plan this? And this is Steve? Yep. Steve, this is my science officer, Bulletbird. Greetings, my new alien friend with feathers and beak, who they call Bulletbird. Ah, uh, yes. Greetings. A pleasure. And this is my other science officer. First to science, this is Astrocat. Greetings, other new alien friend with fur and claws, who they call Astro. Yeah, right. Hey, Steve. Nice to meet you. Ah, uh, Steve, do you mind if I ask you a question? No, not at all. I thought there was no provable existence of Bigfoot. There's only been blurry photos and unending trails of missing socks from people's dryers that lead to nowhere. Oh yes, I exist. I'm simply the world hide-and-go-seek champion. Undefeated since 1724. Holy shit! This is a channel KRAP breaking news story. Pat Jerk, the famous 1992 hide-and-go-seek contender from St. John's, Newfoundland, who mysteriously disappeared during the competition, has been located. The skeleton of Pat has been found in a tree just outside of Placentia, Newfoundland. This breaking news has sparked debate about the legitimacy of the current world champion, Steve. However, after quick deliberations, the International Hide and Go Seek Council has upheld the 1896 rule citing that winners must be found alive in order to claim their prize. Steve, you retain your title as undefeated champion. Stay tuned to KRAP TV for the best in live news.